Right, it's still too uh, hot in the UK at the moment to do any heavy machining. Um, not so much the machining, but the cleaning up afterwards. So this evening, I'd just like to show um, you several new items which I've got from Banggood and what I'll be using them for. So the first is this excellent inverter welder machine, the Z times 7 200. I bought this one um, after I watched the review that Rob did um, in Australia and he did an excellent review on it and a thorough test of the machine and I think it actually came out with flying colours and I could see by his videos that he has some um, excellent knowledge of welding machines and how to use them a very good welder he says he's just a backyard welder but um, I can see that um, he's more than that and after seeing that review I um, just had to have one of these to try it out and I'm a total novice um, at arc welding I've never had an inverter welder before um, many years ago I had one of the old type welders, um, probably about 20 years ago, I, I'd probably done about an hour's welding with it or trying with it and after failing um, terribly I, I gave up and gave the machine away. So after watching his videos and seeing how small this one um, is and um, the actual brilliant price that you can actually get it for from Banggood I thought I'd just have to have one um, not only try it out but um, persevere um, to try and do arc welding myself and I really like um, trying and learning new things and I think this is a great machine um, for a beginner as well as those with um, many years of experience and I'm not actually going to do a review on this um, uh, welder um, Rob's done enough on that one and you can obviously uh, go and see those videos yourself and see uh, exactly um, everything about this machine and how good it is and um, this evening I'm just basically recommending this um, welder now I've had a few goes with it and I feel that I'm actually um, getting on with it. And in the past with my old welder, um, which I gave up on, um, I had terrible trouble um, trying to actually get the um, weld going, getting it sparked up and going without it sticking to the uh, work. I find this one absolutely excellent. And for some reason I find it totally different um, using this machine from the one that I had in the past. I can actually get the uh, weld uh, sparked up and running. I'm not very steady with my hand at the moment and I'm working out the um, different feeds of um, the weld. Um, but I can get a structurally um, solid weld. It doesn't look very good. Um, a bit messy up here. I got better as I went down through this uh, part here. But that's absolutely solid and usable um, and I'm pleased with that. A bit of splosh of paint over there and no one will really notice. And I'm going to be able to use this one now um, to make up um, all different fixtures and tools for the workshop. It's going to make it so much quicker for me. Plus I'm really enjoying learning something new. When you get the welder it comes with this two pin plug here and I've noticed that some of the um, adapters you get um, don't actually earth it still and Rob showed this on his video you can get this adapter here I got these from um, eBay uh, for the two pin plug and it has a, um, a spring um, contact there which makes contact with the earth on the top of this plug um, when it's plugged in and I checked um, from the casing to the earth and it earths nicely. The welder also comes with its two of these um, quick fit um, type cable uh, plugs and you have to put those onto the cable. I bought nice heavy duty cable it says 35 millimeter on it and um, whatever that means because it's not the actual diameter and um, I've put a bit of red tape around the um, electrode holder one, the positive and that one plugs in the um, bottom here 
and twist it fully uh, for it to lock up. Nice quick release um, plugs, which is a great thing. And they go on nicely. And I bought this nice um, heavy duty um, clamp off of eBay um, for the minus. All ground, should I say. And I got this um, excellent electrode holder off of eBay. Um, it's a twist grip one which releases the um, welding stick. Push it in there and then tighten up. That's a really nice heavy duty um, electrode holder. So I'm very pleased with that. And it's just basically um, control um, on the front here up to 200 amps and when I was welding the angle iron I think I had it on about 90 the on off switch is on the back there with the fan and it sounds really nice when it's going And it lights up green on the front there and there's also a temperature one I presume comes on if it overheats and if you watch uh, Rob's second video on this um, actual welder um, he put it through its paces um, tried to get it to overheat he put um, I think about five rods uh, welded them right the way down to nothing um, all in a row and the machine didn't overheat once so I'm really pleased with this excellent inverter welder and if you're new to welding like I am I actually totally recommend it um, for learning on it makes it so much easier and you'll actually really enjoy um, learning actually using this machine and it's excellent being so small and lightweight um, you have a strap here which you can actually carry it on the shoulder I've heard that they use these type of um, inverter welders um, for welding up at heights on buildings and things um, so it's an absolutely fantastic machine um, for my workshop being so small it takes up such little space and to go with it from Banggood I bought these excellent heavy duty suede leather welding gloves um, they say extra large and they're nice and roomy um, very good quality um, I reckon you could actually use those for all different jobs as well like heavy duty gardening or whatever um, and being red they show up nicely um, and suit my red workshop also another great welding accessory you can get um, from Banggood is this uh, welding rod case or holder it's made of heavy duty um, plastic uh, not the cheap kind which can split or break um, it's a bit bendy um, nice and solid with a screw top lid and you can get many uh, welding rods in there it's really important to keep the welding rods uh, dry it's got a nice thick rubber seal around here and when the lid screws on it meets that seal and keeps it completely airtight and I bought two of those um, they're really well worth having and the welding machine did come with one of these um, low-cost um, masks or welding um, guard um, I get on quite well with this type um, but I have ordered from Banggood one of those um, ones that react to light another excellent piece of kit I got from Banggood is this excellent Wi-Fi endoscope uh, which connects to iPhone, iPad, Android devices and PC um, professional series and it's excellent um, for automotive use or use in the workshop it has high speed Wi-Fi 720p HD 8.5mm 
um, or a 5.5 millimeter um, camera this one's got the 8.5 uh, which is IP67 waterproof that's the actual camera end not the actual unit phone holder a 1 watt LED flashlight and uh, four alkaline batteries they don't come with it and I found that the um, endoscope works best and last longest on um, these Duracell type um, batteries which I got off of eBay um, the rechargeable type so in this kit you get the endoscope handle um, battery holder part um, that's got the flashlight in the end here and this is the battery compartment and it clearly shows which way the batteries are to go around There's also a carry strap um, ring there. And then you have an incredible um, quality flexible um, camera cable which can be uh, bent into any position for whatever you're going to look into. And that one just connects up to the um, front of the handle part. There's only one way that it can go around. There's a little notch at the top here. And let's see now. Yeah, that's at the top. Like that. And then you just screw the collar right up until it's locked on there. Also in this kit you get a USB um, a camera mount um, and uh, that one there unscrews off of this um, handle part here and then you screw it onto here and obviously you plug that into the computer or whatever you're going to connect it to and that's got the um, uh, a switch on there uh, which adjusts the brightness of the actual um, camera light. And you get the um, CD data obviously for using that one. You get this um, phone holder which um, clips into the top of the handle piece here. Push that one down firmly and then you can put the, the phone onto that one for the screen. So that's it all ready to go and I'm using a Samsung Android phone there and you obviously have to download the app for this um, endoscope so after downloading the app you turn the endoscope on the uh, button there will light up blue if the um, uh, batteries are in good charge or new batteries in there and you have this um, dial here which you turn on the LEDs on the camera and turn up the brightness and you can actually adjust that brightness um, to whatever you're viewing to actually get the best view on the screen so I have the app on there and I put my um, settings next to it um, because you need to use uh, both of those to get the um, endoscope running so it's worth having both of those together and firstly I go in the settings on the phone and go to the Wi-Fi and look for the um, endoscope that shows up there click on that one and click forget and let me see now oh there we are there it is there click on that one again and click connect and it's connected now um sometimes it asks you for the um um pin number uh, and it gives the pin number um in the actual instruction book which is eight zeros 
So now I go back to the um, app, click on that one, and it should open up. There we are, it's given me the option for the um, USB camera or this one. So I click on this one and it's connecting now. And there we go, it's um, connected up and is ready to check something, video something, or take photographs. That's looking at one of my LED lights on the ceiling there. And it records in um, full HD or HD anyway. Um, so that's good. And it has all different uses in the workshop. I use it for checking the um, condition of the inside of the um, spindle of the lathe. Um, you can actually look down and um, see whether that um, spindle bore is nice and clean. There's no swarf in it, um, particularly if you're loading up a MT3 um, taper on this Chinese mini lathe. You can really check whether that bore is clean um, before you do so. And in the end of the bore there, you can actually see my expanding mandrel that I've made recently. Um, you can just see the brass um, uh, expander and the four um, positions that the um, expanding mandrel is locked onto the inner diameter of the bore of the spindle. So that's good and that's nice and clean. And the same on my Myford lathe Just the brightness on the you can see in that one there's some um, quite a bit of swarf in that that needs to be cleaned out um, before I insert a taper so that's one um, really good use and also you can actually use it to um, check inside components um, so you don't have to take the um, component out from the jaw of the lathe and upset the concentricity or whatever you can actually um, look inside and um, see the condition or the uh, finish of um, work or if there's any steps in um, o-ring grooves or uh, what the thread looks like undercuts and things so it's a really good um, piece of kit for that as well And at the moment I have the camera pointing into the um, other um, USB plug adapter, you can see it on the screen there. And just to show you, you can actually turn this dial um, here which adjusts the brightness of those um, LEDs in the camera, um, obviously to get the um, better view. If there's too much light um, then there's too much reflection and it ruins the picture. And you can actually turn the LED right off if you want to. Also, um, in the Endoscope um, kit, you get um, a set of tools um, in this little plastic container. Um, there's a nice um, rare earth magnet tool there. Um, you put the um, plastic collar um, into this groove here on the camera and um, just click that one together. Um, it is a bit fiddly to do that, um, but it does actually click over nicely when it does and holds nice and firm. There we go. That's nice and um, tight on there now and can't come off. And then you can actually send that down um, 
uh, whatever you're trying to retrieve, um, if there's something magnetic like a small screw you've um, dropped um, in the engine of your car or whatever, um, you can actually put this camera down, um, see where you're going, stick on the actual screw and retrieve it. And there's also um, a hook toll, which would be good for some items, and also a small um, mirror. And I will try it out sometime. I, I'm, I'm going to try that mirror um, out um, in a bore um, where there's a shoulder or whatever and see if I can actually see um, up the back face. The endoscope also um, works in the infinity mode as well um, on the range so you can actually use it to actually um, use as a normal camera. Um, for outside. It's very low light outside at the moment. Um, you might be able to just see that um, a row of houses there. Um, on the screen um, you can rotate the actual picture and then you have the um, video record um, you press on there and the one on the left there is obviously for taking photographs. Um, but it's low light at the moment, like I say, so it's not a very um, good picture outside. Um, but this is actually looking out the back of my shed. So I've got the camera pointing at a different background now, just to show you the actual um, screen options. You just tap the screen of your phone, um, and there you have the rotation. And then there's the video um, record. And that's the camera. Um, for just taking pictures. So like I say, it's an excellent piece of kit for all types of inspection work, um, particularly automotive. Um, also you can um, actually put the camera down um, sink drains to see if there's blockages. There's, uh, it's IP67 um, um, waterproof camera. Um, the rest of it's not waterproof, so you keep that dry. Um, so that's another good thing you can do with that. Um, it does say um, in the instructions, this appliance is not intended for medical use or for personal inspection. So don't go um, putting the um, camera down your throat or whatever. And I nearly forgot to mention the um, endoscope holder here has a very powerful flashlight and it's an LED um, Cree flashlight. and an excellent neoprene carry case to keep everything protected.